Hello everyone, this is Ninja DC bringing us a sort of bonus from Scripted episode, well, podcast, discussing Season 6, sort of our hopes and predictions with it. Joining me today is Cadet. Hi everybody, my name is Cadet Richard. Don't mind the voice, please. please. Jen? <laughs> oh, hello, I'm Jen. We're not dead! <laughs> <laughs> And John? I'm John. And I feel happy. <laughs> I feel happy. No, you don't. You're going to be so dead in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how long it's been since I've actually seen that whole thing back to back? From front oh, happy Oscars night. <laughs> Yay. We wait to date the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Happy Mad Max show. That's what I, that's what I think. <laughs> Happy Mad Max awards <laughs> night. Da, 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 da. Oh. Every Oscar night we do. We do. <laughs> Honestly, though, would, yeah, if, we, uh, if Mad Max actually did one best picture while we're recording this, I would probably shout out yes. Uh, <laughs> and now, every, if, if it does, everybody has to yell out, we are awaited in the gates of Valhalla! Uh, I think a pearly white. Uh, I Johnny think the more fitting thing is. Be, I think the more fitting thing would be say, "What a glorious day! <laughs> what a lovely day! What a lovely day!" Uh, that's what I was thinking of. Oh my gosh! What a uh, day! What a lovely day! This takes me back to uh, high school theater. Right now, it's pretty oh, far back, actually, for me. What happened? Well, it's just everybody shouting and no one being coherent on topic. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Before basically show, basically. Even though we're recording it's loud, right noises. <laughs> <laughs> loud noises! Loud noises! Loud noises, accents, <laughs> off-topic topic. <laughs> lovely, lovely tangents and everything. Me being sick, that was a common thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. And the one and the two. And the <laughs> bump, bump, bump. <laughs> oh man. All right, Seriously, so what Mad do we Max come here to do? <laughs> Line. <laughs> What's our motivation? What's our motivation? Key cards. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, it's been a long time since we've just talked. Yes. Just so you know. If we just like start <laughs> randomly going off on another tangent somewhere in this conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also joining us randomly will be Unova and uh Herder Herder Brony. Brony. Yeah. They'll be most likely popping in at some random moment, possibly. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know. It's possible. We'll call them our special guests for right now. Yep. <laughs> I'll be joining us later in the podcast. Going back to the topic at hand, we season six is to some people's dismay, but most people's joy is actually coming a lot sooner than expected this spring. But we really don't know much about it yet, though there are a few tad details. Um, first of all is um well the big elephant in the room, or the little one in this case, Flurry Heart. <laughs> oh Jen, have you seen that? I have, yes. Okay. And I and it took and it took every ounce of my being to not flip my flip my laptop over the room and be like, "WTF is this?" <laughs> That's the that is the PG answer, kids. The the PG. I assure you, the real the real uncut version was more was much more profane. <laughs> the rated R. It's a the Mad Max version. <laughs> There it is again. Yes. The Mad Max version of my response was much more profane. (laughs) But basically, but basically I'm like, what? I'm the first thing I was like, all right, who let M.A. Larson out? (laughs) Oh, God. But then again, I thought. I'll laugh, actually, if he's the writer of that episode. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) yeah. But then again, I'm. But then again, I'm thinking. Well, wait a minute. Cadence is an alicorn, so maybe 
maybe that's the dominant, maybe that's the dominant gene. But then I'm thinking, wait a minute. If, if, okay. So Luna and Cel- uh, maybe if I have, maybe I'm going to have this wrong. Luna and Celestia were apparently born alicorns. Cadence and Twilight earned their alicorn status. And now here we have Flurry Heart who is born an alicorn. So, uh, uh, my mind tur- mind is turned to mush and like I like explain explain movie explain I, explain season six explain but then part of me is like thinking well may- let's not get all let's not get all you're rustled maybe it's just a dream sequence a dream sequence but um <laughs> how do you think they'll do that because I want to like pretty much. <laughs> you know about season enders being double episodes because they don't let season in- enders be single episodes. That's true. But yeah. openers have pretty much all, well, actually, they have always been double episodes. Yeah. So what do you think is going to be the plot carrying that over? Because it won't just, be, I guarantee it won't well, just be, hey, there's a cute baby. There's going to be some bigger plot. Yeah. Well, they've always considered so. the uprising of an enemy, haven't they? Like, uh, yeah, every single every single season, it's been like one enemy enemy after another. Discord, uh, Sombra, whatnot. So, yeah, I, I can kind of predict there'll be some kind of kidnapping story involved. Yeah, very re- uh, Disney's Rapunzel esque in some mm. way. Oh, she right. has a special ability already, being a baby alicorn. And okay. apparently, with like a almost full grown wings as a baby too. Yeah, that was really weird. I didn't see it until 10 minutes before the call, or I guess during the call, actually, uh, the pre-call. So <laughs> I was like, well, that was 37 seconds I didn't expect to see. <laughs> I don't know um, if there's more. Uh, I, just clicked the, I just clicked the first YouTube link. Yeah. You know, I, I wonder how long the pregnancy was. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. When did they? In- it was like episode twenty-one of this past season, right? Where they introduced yes, the fact somewhere that along. Yeah. It was the the one where the one where Pinkie Pie knows. Yeah, that was the title. Yeah, <laughs> friends plug. Yeah, I, ha- um, yeah, I have to wonder like how long that was. I have to wonder. Same time, I have to wonder what the birthing process would be like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I. I don't think anybody really wants to picture that. <laughs> No, they can just tell me what it was. They don't have to like show me. <laughs> I just got like, the mental. I just got, I just got the mental image of some Brody making like a accurate birthing representation. Uh, <laughs> oh God, no! Well, if it's anything like giraffe births, I bet it. She was standing up for the whole time. <laughs> you know, you may be right. But you well, know, if she were carrying all those wings, still. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's, it's going to be like following. Fairly odd parents' logic, where they'll just wish the thing out of her stomach. <laughs> it's magic. We don't have to explain anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's gonna, but that's gonna further like boggle my mind of alicorn making or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, you can either be born at alicorn or you can earn your alicorn st- or you can earn it. But hey, you know, maybe, maybe because she's an alicorn, she just magicked herself out, like. Oh yeah, I'm done with this incubating stuff. Let's get out of here. Let's. Oh, that'd be really bad. Let's, yeah. let's get into some nappies. Exactly. She's like, oh, all right, I've had enough. You've you've baked in there long enough. Alakazam. <laughs> if we're going for like traditional horse birth thing, she'd be pregnant for eleven months, roughly. Oh. So like, yeah. So it's like, how many months has it been? Oh, I just got the horrible uh, idea. Like, oh, what's that? Well, just you talking about teleporting it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't Alex. It was just. What? <laughs> we don't know. He's being incoherent. <laughs> He's laughing, everyone. Let the go! The end is nigh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh no! The hi- the hiatus has gotten to him. He's oh, laughing. He's locked in mind. I was so, just saying, like, he's going back. the horrible idea just because like it wasn't Alicorn originally. It just sort of when the teleporting process. It was originally twins. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh no! <laughs> <That was horrible. laughs> no! 
Oh, no. Uh, All the no in the world. Oh. Uh, this is where you cue ooh. the note spider. This is definitely the part that they don't show people. I know. They're like, this is the, this is the dark secret behind. Like, you know how they have those dark secrets behind Disney? This is one of the dark yes. secrets behind Hasbro. Oh, gosh, yeah. yes. This you is know, a nope spider moment. Just, it makes you wonder, like, you know, Twilight had inferiority complex. What's this kid going to grow up with? <laughs> I mean, hmm. Shorty, is she going to have a song the first episode? She's going to be thinking like, about. <laughs> sorry. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's okay. I was like, she's she's gonna be thinking a song, but she's actually gonna be singing in in her head. Oh, no like the rock dance. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like internal monologue, <laughs> but with music. She's a baby. She's a baby. She's too young to have internal monologues. We'll be like, look who's talking. Mm-hmm. She comes out and she's like, well, okay, uh, all right. Where are all who are all these pwn? Who are all these? What? What is it? Ponies? What are these wings on my back? <laughs> What's this horror on my head? What is my life? What is going on? What is my life? <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> what is going on? Where's my life? I feel. I feel like that's my <laughs> life. Whenever I talk to somebody <laughs> about ponies, I'm like, they don't understand. They. This person doesn't get it. What is my life? What is my life that I can't communicate correctly with people? <laughs> It's this really sad. People at my people at my workplace have actually they actually know how much I like it. And as a matter of fact, uh, my ma- my manager is now I am now apparently derpy at my store. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> apparently, my manager calls me derpy now. She calls is me Jennifer a Derpy. Compliment or is it like a derogatory? <laughs> thing? My boss, my boss has an interesting kind of a kind of humor. Okay. The weirdest thing is, is that she, this it really literally started when she would when I would open the store the next day I would get a pass off of like you know projects to complete and everything. She literally started looking up, uh, looking up ponies online, and <laughs> she, the first thing she said was like, uh, to derpy hooves, and I kid you not, I laughed so hard. <laughs> I'm like, this is the greatest day ever. I don't know why, but. Being acknowledged as derpy. <laughs> so apparently, I'm the derpy of my store. So, <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. it's cool. You replied to them by saying, "Like, I just don't know what went wrong." <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, she wouldn't get the joke. She wouldn't get that joke. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like a what <laughs> two minute clip on YouTube. You could look it up. Yeah. Just show That's her it and be much. like, "This is me." <laughs> she, the cool thing was I actually got her something from the last year's BronyCon. I got her a little uh, badge Aww. that said, how about a, it, had, it actually has a derpy, it is, it's actually derpy with a, a cup of coffee and an army hat that says, how about a cup of quit that drama at once? <laughs> and she absolutely loved it. She actually ha- she actually uh, is hanging it in her office, which is really cool. That's cool. And sometimes so the, the funniest time is when I'm sitting in the break room and I'm eating something and apparently for some reason whenever whatever I eat the 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 smell kind of wafts into the into the atmosphere so she <laughs> feels the need to run back and say Jennifer Derpy what are you having for lunch It's <laughs> <laughs> a lovely intro I know so which, beautiful <laughs> It's apparently uh, it's apparently my adoptive middle name now <laughs> You get in trouble. <laughs> yes, and then I get the full, I get the full name treatment, just like your parents. Just, name. <laughs> yes, just like my, just like the parents would do, just like yeah. the parents do. If like if you, if you, it's like to really know if you're in trouble, they break out the full name. When they break out the full name, you better run. I feel like everybody says my full name, so I feel like I'm, uh, I feel like I'm always in trouble. Oh yeah, the, if I, if the full name means you're in trouble, yeah, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh gosh, my whole name. <laughs> my mom and dad would never say my full name. Really? Yeah, it's like, well, 
I don't want to say it out loud here because it's like. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll bother you after the the podcast. Okay. Yeah, I, I understood. I didn't want to say my last name anyway, so it's all I just good. said last name. I was like Jennifer Derpy last yeah. name. <laughs> no idea. It's a mix. It, I have two adoptive last names. Apparently, there's Derpy and then there's Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> like I get turtle. I, I have no idea. I, I have no idea. She just came up with that. All of a sudden, it was like, Jennifer Franklin. <laughs> and it's a, I don't know. It just it just happened. And I took to it. I'm like, I like it. She I don't know why, like but it, rhymes with my, it, it goes with my name. <laughs> she just has like a flashback to, uh, <laughs> to like before the war, basically. <laughs> She's just like, I'm so sorry. I called you that. <laughs> <laughs> you're like no i like it and then she, no. every time she just sheds a tear no no uh, it was just like a random it was just totally random and now like i don't know why but i like it like when uh like when you're when you accidentally call your teacher mom basically oh, just shit. accidentally said franklin yes. <laughs> i don't think i've yes. ever done that I have only done that because my teacher was my mom for uh, a couple of years. Ah. But it was in a public school setting. <laughs> She's like, don't call ah, me that I here. Hear. And I was like, am I being punished? <laughs> it was like, okay. I was like seven. I was like seven for right. the first time. So I was like, she's like, don't call me mom. And I was just like do you not love me anymore? <laughs> Aww. Aww. I didn't get why. I didn't understand. <laughs> it was really bad. So, uh, Ninja, is there anything we know more about the season six opener or the flirt? Uh, let's episode? bring up two of our mini points. I have a few more. Um, these are sort of things that we can infer <laughs> and also know some about. One is that a theme of us is going to be traveling to different parts of Equestria and also oh, that uh, CMC are going to be helping others with their cutie mark, uh, with their cutie mark talent. Um, because we actually have seen a return of, uh, Babseed. Mm. Oh my gosh, Babseed's coming back! Yeah. <laughs> yay! Oh, yay! Uh, that just made Jennifer's night. Uh, yay! Yeah. I'm so happy. Ba- Babseed's going to come back. That's. That's yes. That that just made my night. Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> but here's a sixty-four million dollar question. But here's a sixty-four million dollar question. Uh huh. Are we getting sea ponies? <laughs> mer ponies. I would kill for some mer ponies. We actually go I mer ponies. <laughs> sea ponies, mer ponies, ocean actually, ponies, whatever. They actually featured in a in a comic. You know. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yes. I was. Yes, and it was awesome. About that. Oh yeah. I've seen it in a comic before, and it's really cool. But I'm, but I've always had a question: like, are we gonna see sea sea ponies? Any mare ponies? Ala mare ponies? Whatever. Water ponies? Well, <laughs> water ponies. I was saying, well, the um, <laughs> well, the sirens are sort of like that, or sort of. But we didn't really get to see them in their pony form. We had like True. a couple of those uh, ghosty shots, <laughs> but True. it wasn't yeah. enough to be like, yes, these are mer ponies. Yeah. Like, oh, again, look. again, there's the comics, and they they look exactly like that. True, true. If not, that's fine. At least there's a com- at least there's a comic for it. But it's a it's a fun question to ask. Will there be sea ponies? Yeah. I'm really? excited. Bad seat's gonna come back. I want I want more explanation as I want more ex- seeing more of the royal baby. Uh, the CMC having the CMC um do their do their work. That's gonna be cool. Yeah. We're aren't we? We're also gonna see Fluttershy's brother, right? Uh, that's another uh, topic. Um, <laughs> Clears um, his throat. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, the, uh, uh, the have some cold. I, I'm coughing. I'm not trying to interrupt it. Just like <laughs> clear, it's literally just trying to clear my throat. No, 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 I, I that was like the uh, that. <laughs> that was the final talking point. Is Fluttershy's brother? But another one because yeah. I just want to try to get a few mini ones because we really don't know much about some of these. Um, the last one oh, before sure. that was um, the, there's apparently we're going to be introduced to a new Griffin who's trying to answer the question Ooh. is if, if Griffins can get cutie marks. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. interesting. Guys, Hello. Hi, Alex. Uh, yeah. 
Maybe we should make oh, a really yeah, big deal about it. Sucks. Let's make All a really right. big deal instead of letting him slip in quietly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How Welcome. are you today? I'm doing pretty good. That is good news. Well, we're just starting with a discussion. <laughs> so uh, yeah. we didn't really miss much besides some fun pre-chat discussing stuff. Oh yeah. Um, there was a lot of that. Yeah. Pretty much all we covered is what we low we know about season six so far, which is pretty much Flurry Heart traveling yeah. to different parts of Equestria. Uh, Griffins, can they get cutie marks? Yeah. Uh, CMC and the return of Babseed, and then we're about to. Oh, Babseed is returning. Oh, good. Yay! And then <laughs> we still haven't we're have, still haven't discussed it, but there's we're also going to be discussing Flourishai's brother as like the yeah. final talking point. Yeah. Before we go on to more speculation and more, I guess fan theories and guessing. Right. Yeah. So, any thoughts on those things? Uh, I I honestly thought Flourishai's brother was going to be in season five, but. Mm-hmm. Since they held off on him until season six, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess right. if we transition to that, it's, it's it's sort of an interesting thing to know because it really is the first thing we knew about season six. Yeah. Like, to be honest, like I have no idea on like you know, the whole idea of season six. Uh, Sure, sure, there's a lot of stuff that, like, little stuff, but as to how it all connects together, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if they're going for an overarching theme this time or just... If it's just, like, slice of life's pieces. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I <laughs> can't really tell that much about what's going to happen. All the pressure's on you, Alex. Yeah, Tell us what you know. <laughs> no. Oh. I, no. I know nothing. Nothing. Give us the files oh. and no one gets hurt. But, um, <laughs> this sort of goes back to you guys. And, you don't I know, need an accent, John. You already have one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But um, this sort of brings up another topic we discussed earlier with Flourish's brother, like, ages ago. Is will be a younger or your older brother? Oh, I honestly I hope younger, personally. Because yeah. originally I thought it was just going to be a typical older brother thing or about the same age. But since like one of the general themes I see about this season is like what the Flurry Heart is younger. So I'm thinking what this theme might be younger children or like the next generation sort of thing might be a theme of this season. Yeah. yeah. That it might actually be a younger brother that maybe is trying that's to get why there. They're bringing in Babsy. That's why they have the baby already. I was thinking because they might have the brother trying to get his cutie mark. Right, yeah. Because with the CMC. Yeah. Help. That does kind of make sense. In a roundabout sort of way. Hmm. I guess it. there is a chance that they'll go the kind of typical route, like the brother's, you know, the opposite of Fluttershy, he's a bully. <laughs> He's know. a boy. Uh, He's an iron does. wheel. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Turns out, plot twist. <laughs> yeah. And she tries to, you know, sort him out somehow or introduce him to new friends. <laughs> know, it would be hilarious much. beyond. It would be hilarious beyond belief if Fluttershy's little brother turned out to be like I don't know, Snowflake or something. <laughs> I mean, bulk biceps. There it is. Biceps. Uh. Built like bulk biceps or something. <laughs> I thought you meant literally bulk biceps because then I was like, so we've seen him this yeah. whole time. Yeah, I'm holding out for like his bro- her brother is like a bat pony or something. Oh, no. oh that. <laughs> or just something like yeah. different, like what we don't expect. Mm. Well, I feel like right just. Still be like a great joke if it, if we were like built like like bulk biceps and be like, he's my little brother and he he's like a little brother. He's like he's oh my obviously God. bigger than her oh. and bulky. It's like, a, it's like an Alphonse uh, an Alphonse Edward moment. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> only there would be only there would be oh, you know, there probably would be a moment would be like, Don't call me Lana. Yeah. Yeah, there is oh, one yeah. thing um I think we can all agree though pretty much like older or younger, I think we also want at least do we also want the brother to be sort of more opposite of her or do we want any of you prefer to him be more shy than her? I feel like it's gonna be oh, wow. like that SpongeBob episode. <laughs> Where was it his cousin that was yeah. like really oh, down in the I dumps all the time? It's cousin Stanley. Yes. I feel like it's going to be kind of like that. They're going to try and play it up for laughs. I can't do anything right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what to expect from like from that. But I just know it would be funny. But who knows what. Who knows what can they can do for this? But also, I w- I want to address another thing about season six that I don't know if we'll see or not. Uh, Starlight Ooh. Glamour. That's what I was just thinking oh, about. God. Well, this is sort it's... of moving into guessing area, which yeah, that is sort of a guess. Will we see? Will we see Starlight Glimmer and what, what kind of role would she have? Is she going to replace yeah. Twilight? You know, as the unicorn that Twilight once was. Like, I, I I honestly don't think that. I mean, because a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people initially, that's what surprised me. So many analysts are like, oh, she's a new, like, one of the main six. Like, no, that was not what he suggested, like, at all. I feel like she's going to be the student like Twilight was to Celestia. It's like right. she's, she's going to follow in Twilight's footsteps. Almost. Essentially. Well, she's going to be Twilight's student. Yeah. Because she moved from being... Celestia student to being an alicorn princess to being like this to recognizing her role basically and now the next step would be teaching someone else okay like i could see i could definitely see that i could definitely see that happening like starlight becoming twilight student and student and whatever um in regards of friendship and, and such yeah. Um, the real kicker is power wise, because I remember saying in a previous conf- in a previous uh, uh, yeah. yeah thing thing that apparently twi- I mean Starlight has I think more power than Twilight. Yeah, that like I I've always found that stupid. Yeah, it, it really yeah. rubbed oh. me the wrong way. <laughs> I, mean, I agree. Was... Me too. I was like, she can travel in time. Well, I think at least well, the time thing was explained. That was not very really her power, but sort of like the power of the tree. She's just sort of siphoning it with the spell. Right. Like yeah. there's still that point where she's dueling with Twilight. It's like, okay, that's just – at least give her like a magic amulet of like whatever the heck. And it's like boost her power. It doesn't take much. Yeah, it's but – Some right. explanation. Yeah, but I think there's – I mean, there's certain things, you know, like – we don't know how much older Starlight is. She's probably a lot older than Twilight is and had a lot more practice at this kind of thing. Also, Twilight keeps having to reuse the spell, whereas, uh, you know, Starlight set it up so that she would just pop in whenever uh, Twilight, you know, activated the spell again. So Twilight's yeah. actually using more magic as the episode goes on, you know? So she's wearing herself out. In terms right. of in terms of uh, Starlight Glimmer's ability, she says in the first episode that she showed up, she's like, "It took me years to learn that spell that Twilight used against her in right. like minutes." So, I mean, there is the element of her not being a student, where she can't have access to all of this awesome material. Right. So it is possible that she's older. We won't know because they all look the same age. <laughs> Unless yeah. you have like the really dramatic Granny Smith effect. Yeah, there's really mm. pretty much like there's only really sort of four ages. Like there's four point five ages I've seen. There's like little 4. baby five. Four. Very accurate. Um there's the CMC age. There's the well, text age. Between between CMC age and baby, there's the like the little toddler like we saw mm. in season four. You know, in uh, the, the Sweetie Bell's um, Luna episode. They, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. In their flashback. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, like, you know, there's a difference between, like, uh, I don't know, Twilight Sage and uh, Mrs. Cake Sage. 
Yeah. But, uh, I was yeah. actually literally going to bring up the, the cakes because they're sort of the exception of like sort of the older, uh, but not what about Cadence and Shining Armor. Oh, yeah. like, hmm? I mean, Shining Cadence? Armor and Cadence, they seem like they're older than the main six, but they're not like, they seem like the same sort of body type sort of thing. Like yeah. they're older, but they're oh, only yeah. like two or three years older sort of thing. Two or three. Right. I would have said like six. <laughs> seems that, me. It, it sort of seems that way. I, I would also wonder like how old is Cadence when it comes to her alicorndom? I'm thinking I'm thinking that she's not quite as old as Luna and Celestia, but I would say definitely older than Twilight. No, actually, um, it's strange because the whole Crystal Kingdom thing sort of confuses right. that because she has the same key yeah. mark as the heart. And it's mm-hmm. like the kingdom's missing for a thousand years. So how would she get her talent, firstly? It's <laughs> right. Sort of pathetic. Uh, um, like she, I think she's been uh, Alicorn since she was basically a teen, like or so, younger than that. Like it was in one of the books. Right. Um, she used to be a uh, um, Pegasus. Uh, yep. Then she mm-hmm. like spell backfire and she got overloaded with magic and became an Alicorn. For those who don't read the books, you guys are SOL. <laughs> <laughs> I had heard about the book though, but I didn't read it. Yeah, and that's how she earned her her alicorn for Twilight. It was in reverse. <laughs> we need a musical. <laughs> <laughs> we need like three episode recap of everything that happens in the comics and the books. Just something to yeah. explain. Oh so. uh, yeah. <laughs> Just like three consistent episodes of being like once upon a time. <laughs> yeah. In the magical Book land market. of Equestria. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like they used to do it with Disney back in the two thousands. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. For like a movie. Yeah. What is that noise? I think oh no. Our room. moderator's gone. Uh oh. Building is on. Everyone Quick, everything's on fire. The chat. Take over the Anarchy! chat. Anarchy! 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 Democracy, please Helix. Ninja. Ninja DC. Yeah. The podcast. Oh man, he's back. Oh, I mean, hello, uh, welcome back. Thumbs over. Um, welcome back, our ruler. <laughs> okay, stop the okay, anarchy stops now. Ninja <laughs> DC like we're, joined the podcast. But, um, Ninja DC joined the <laughs> <laughs> Watch see, out, guys. Uh, he might I'm be the hit. reference guy. Just... I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to where we were on topic because um, we're discussing Cadence, like, sorry. some uh, yeah. with guesses for season six. Oh, uh, no. Ages, Star like Glimmer. Um, Star like Glimmer. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I guess it brings up another, like, person. Do you think we'll see uh, Sunlit? <laughs> I mean, uh, Sunlit, Sunlit Butlet. Butlet. Sunset. Sun, sunlit butlet. Sunset um, sparkle or sunset. <laughs> sunset shimmer. <laughs> sunset so, so many freaking twilight times. So I know. I hated sunlight that. Sunlight so dawn. Much. <laughs> There's only two others. Yeah, uh, no, I think start as a sunset shimmer is gonna stay exclusively to the Equestria Girls universe. I agree. I really, I, yeah. I think so, but I really hope it's one of those things that if I go into hopes, it's like I do hope she does make an appearance. You know, there um, yeah. there was there was sort of an appearance of her and uh, you know an alternate Sonata like in a cards part of the MLP card <laughs> game, and yeah, I don't know whether that's going to be like just a side gag in one of the future episodes or something. Mm-hmm. I I can kind of see it that way in a way, but yeah, that's no, playing a major role. And yeah, that's how they tie the movie in. Yeah, I just really do hope they bring her. I mean, because I think we, I think it was in the last chat we had where we sort of discussed how um, Starlight Glimmer is pretty much like Sunset Light. Right. Yeah. It's like, I mean, Sun like Starlight's good. Like, I really prefer the actual like one we're more invested in. Right. The sunset one we light. Well, we have to give like some it, it's like a drink a drink reference. Oh. Only fifty like, percent less evil. Exactly. No, it'd be more evil. Starlight. What did you say sunset light? Starlight. Oh, I thought oh. we were talking about starlight. Starlight would oh, be okay. more evil. Okay. Okay, never Sorry. mind. Sorry. It's more evil because it gives you cancer. <laughs> That's really sad. As any diet soda does. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More corn syrup. Oh, you very. <laughs> Oh, another topic we could talk about is uh, Sunburst, whether we're going to see him. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Like, like they friend. find him and bring yeah. him her to boyfriend. her. boyfriend. <laughs> they find him and bring Actually, the I don't is. think that what's her face. What is her name again? Starlight. Glimmer. Starlight. Thank Glimmer. you. Starlight I was Glimmer. like, oh, gosh. I, okay. I'm, like, exhausted and my tongue is full, and I'm sorry. I'm like, going to see Scorpion. Oh, Star Swirl the Bearded. <laughs> yeah. Star Swirl oh probably until like the later, like the very last seasons. She drinks yeah. some more of that milk from. Uh, Maybe you'll be in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably. I'm. Yeah. Probably uh, I don't that think you'll be in the movie just because I don't know what they're doing with the movie. I think they're going to go big and out. And I don't think they'll just what, use like a reference to like a previous thing. Maybe not, yeah. So that would be interesting if, like, Scorpion makes an appearance and, like, the next Equestria Girls is some background character. Yeah. Uh, but, um... Uh, I guess we can just sort of talk about hopes. I'm just sort of going in guesses, but you can also work in some of your hopes for the next season. Um... Sort of like things you would want from this season, but I don't have sort of any guess on if they're actually going to happen. Oh, I thought oh. we already did that. Yeah. Uh, that was sort of like a guessing. This is more hopes. Like, guessing is more like, well, we sort of know from this. Here's our guess. Here's we just like, okay, we don't want really to know except for our hopes that this will happen. We did well, already talk about mer ponies. Well, I want I want there to be more character building for Starlight because it didn't seem. Does it seem like she got a lot? Yeah. It's, there's stuff like you can you can pick out like it, it, like the nitty gritty, but on terms of the surface, it's it's not. I kind of actually thinking about the ending of the last episode. I kind of feel like they dropped her. They're like they're not gonna take care of her because they dropped her off at the village and then everybody accepted her back. So I don't know how much of her we're actually going to no, see. No, we, Ryan. no, they didn't leave her at the village. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. No, mm-hmm. she was there until like the very end. <laughs> no, she, she, she was with, you know, like the last, the very last scene where they're all staring up into the camera. She was there. Yeah, but that could have just been for the fact that they were showing all of the ponies. Why was everybody else there? Hmm. Well, this is just so. Honestly, yeah, like if they do use her, I think like they either use her as like um, uh, Twilight student or as basically setting up a West Coast main six. A West Coast. Mm. <laughs> West Coast. That's another thing I want them to explore is the west, the west, what lies west of Equestria because they they put undiscovered west in the map. Yeah, they did. Where is Saddle Arabia on that map? Uh, I think it was uh, was it on there? I don't know. I, you know what? I don't think I don't think it is. I don't think Saddle Arabia is on that map. Did they just make the pun for pun sake? I think so, because I didn't. Cause uh, I remember looking at a map of Equestria, and I didn't see it on there. I think I can't, I can't remember if it was referenced slightly when they did the expanded Griffin map. If it was just like something on land over yonder, but yeah, and it's like here there be dragons or here there be griffins or something. Yeah. You know, I would, I would find that they actually traveled to Scotland to Glasgow, you know, and everywhere Highland holes. <laughs> Just to make that pun. Oh. How would you react if you if you if they did that, John? No, like I said, I I wouldn't mind. I I think it'd be hilarious. Oh yeah. Everybody's like a Highland a Highland cow, and they all have kilts. Oh my goodness. They're all very very. One of them plays the bagpipes. As one does. Yeah. Muffled bagpipes playing in the distance. <laughs> yes, they're all just basically more intelligent versions of the Yak Yakistanians. Yes. Uh... <laughs> oh gosh, that's one thing I hope does not return. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> no yak smash. <laughs> oh, yeah. The mm-hmm. yaks are getting the smash. Uh, I was thinking like the weirdest thing about you know I, they, they said they delegates in Saudi Arabia. I I don't know why, but I feel like in the times we live in now, in these culturally sensitive times, I feel like that's something Saudi Arabia is something they can't do. Mm. Mm. I, I don't know, or 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 it would be very very risky risky territory to to do yeah i think if they do do it they won't go for any direct references but more of like make it a little more exotic Um, right but the thing is they got to be care if they do try to do it they got to be really careful with how they tread they there can't be like any anything that could be pair that it could be like parody or it's just it's just got to be represented in in such a right way and it is a very sensitive sensitive subject or so in well, these, I think, you know, I think in these times, could, I think they could just go the Aladdin route, where they make it sort of like the generic Middle East area. Was well, that? Where you... I, I guess so. Maybe that would be the safe. That would be the safe route, I guess. You know, I that, guess that would be oh. like. No, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, I'm. I was just gonna say, like, I, I guess I wouldn't mind if there was another Daring Do episode. Maybe if uh, Rainbow Dash got dragged into another adventure with her, mm. or if they had a completely fun. separate one. Well, that'd be fun. Yeah. I do want to see pirate ponies. Just yes. Me. Just me. Also happened in the comics. I know. Which is a great issue. They also I'm talking about animated pirate ponies. They also ponies. had wrestling in the comics, and they really spoiled that. <laughs> mm. But um, I guess, like, the one really thing, I, my one big hope for the season six is at least for one of the openers or closers, they have the rest of the main six actually do something <laughs> to save the day. Robin Twilight. <laughs> it's like it's not too much to ask for them to be like season one and two where they're actually contributing to the resolution. <laughs> oh, I just thought of something. Something I'd love to see in season six. What? I want Cheese Sandwich to come back. Oh, that's true. Cheese yeah. Sandwich. Love him. Mm. I wonder I how, like, party. what kind of, what kind of episode do you think that they would have him in? I have no clue. Would it be like I, the I, first birthday for what's her name? Yeah, the Flurry. Yeah. That's the. That's sounds, one way it could. One way it could work. Yeah. Sounds like a. Sounds Actually, like a Valentine's. Sounds like a Valentine's Day dessert at KFC. Flurry heart. <laughs> flurry heart. The Mick Flurry. <laughs> I've been seeing no, maybe Dairy of Queen would have all this. over Derby Brew. Oh <laughs> that, that sounds like a Dairy Queen dessert, like Flurry Heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does that even mean, anyway? Flurry Heart. What is, flurry Heart. Uh, like a flurry. Sets her well, heart I'm pretty of sure water. that heart is an organ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I'm no scientist. <laughs> and I think flurry means uh, a I don't brief know? shower of snow, sudden commotion, excitement, or confusion. <laughs> it's I'm a just... swirling mass of something. A, a tornado. Sudden... Caused by gusts of wind. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at the dictionary and it got quite a lot of uh yeah, different ones. They even Is have flurry the under there? They even have one for the stock exchange. Like it means a brief rise or fall in prices. So maybe it's something Swirling, to do with the stock it's exchange. change. It, it it overall I guess it just means a sudden change. A change of heart. A change of heart. Interesting. I thought it was like just, oh, she's so beautiful. She makes my heart go flurry. That could work too. Oh, that could be Shining Armor's example of it. Like, who's that to name the prince? Name the new princess. Oh, Shining Armor did. Why? Why? Because she makes my heart go flurry like corn dogs. Yeah. Another thing is they could have put flurry in their name because of the her big wings. Uh, Oh, that's true. That's true, definitely. 
Poor Scootaloo. That's all I have to say. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, do not bring this child around. I'd be like, do not bring this child around Scootaloo. This uh, not going to end well. <laughs> Imagine this. How like that's how um, uh, Celestia and Luna were when they were first born. They had big wings. That'd be really yeah. weird. <laughs> And Q fan art in three, two, one. It's already there. It's already there. I, I it's have already to wonder there. how. I have to wonder how sleeping out with those big wings, if you were a baby, were. How would that? How would that happen? I mean, I'm sure a lot of moments, work out? Uh, A lot of moments will be like how Twilight, when she first did in the movie, they're just Boing! bringing the wings just went going pow! all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> I would assume that that's how it happens. The wings would be like they come fall asleep and then. Wing boner. Yep. Sorry, the wings. Will are the kid, so will the baby, so will the babies be? So will the baby have the same prop? Same problem. Oh, I can just imagine this. She tries to settle in. And she's like, you goo goo, whatever. And then I'm said, boing. And then I'm said, wah. Like, oh man, I just yeah. got. Down. Now I've got to get the wings <laughs> down again. Uh-oh. I just wonder if she'll. No, that's a weird question. Never mind. Hmm? Never, no. Never no. Mind. I, I was I was remembering my childhood and how we have like growing pains. Yeah. Oh. I wonder what's gonna happen when she like first loses her feathers, or she has like if her wings will get bigger. In any, so, I don't know. That's so, just uh, being like, huh? Instead of toothing pains, you have like horn pains. Basically. Oh goodness, yeah. Like, fe- oh. Feather pains and stuff. I don't know. Also, also magic spurts. Yeah. Magic magic spurts. Very and since she's an beats. alicorn, I have to wonder if those are going to be like j- uh, amplified, amplified because she's of alicorn descent. Like I you can imagine like she could be like I don't know, tottering around and all of a sudden her horn accidentally sparks and then before she you know it's creates a new uh, planet. She creates a new planet. <laughs> just yeah. that is one overpowered baby. <laughs> I was just thinking of the most ridiculous. I was like, what could be the weirdest thing that would happen? You come in, yeah, you someone comes inside and be like, oh no. I was like, what happened? Oh, she created her first galaxy (laughs) by just a flick of her horn. (laughs) And she could grow up and be like, Philly, please. I was creating sub portals and galaxies when I was a baby. Uh, She starts (laughs) casting spells in her sleep. (laughs) That'd be terrifying. That is scary. I mean, like, welcome, like emissions. Equestria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Equestria, Lord, welcome to your new the... overlord. Gafulu. <laughs> <laughs> she opened the gates to Cerberus. Oh, no. Tartarus. <laughs> like, honey, what did I, honey, what did I tell you about opening gates to Tartarus? Never do it. <laughs> Actually reminds me of like one of the funny like theories I had for Fluttershy's brother is like if he is the older brother he's actually a villain or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> like the yeah. villain for that's the how she's so familiar. Finale. Yeah, that's how she's so she's so familiar with Cerberus because she she visits all the time. Oh, what is that? What is that universe that they call in the, the new Ninja Turtle series that the Krang are from? <laughs> Dimension X. Yeah, that's it. What if she opens yeah. the portal to Dimension X and all the Krang come through and they're like, oh you know, God. Krang does not understand the concept known as friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the old school Krang and I, the old school Krang from the 80s. And the thing is, Krang, I kid, Krang literally sounded like somebody, like he was drunk. Uh, <laughs> I he, don't said, really... he had a very slurred voice and he, it just, it just sounded like somebody was drunk. When, when he was I talking, I don't know no. what that's like. I don't know. <laughs> I, think it's, I, I, I don't know about you, but I just think it's genius that they have them all talking the same way. Right. It's a different. I understand it's a different time and every and everything. It's just uh, I'm like, wow. So they went this route for the Krang. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fair enough. Fair enough. I just wonder if they're going to bring him into the into the live action new Ninja Turtle movies one day. Oh, Ooh. they are actually in the next one. Holy crap! Oh the newer, my gosh. Yeah, the newer ads um have shown Krang. Oh my gosh! Mm-hmm. 
I'm really curious. I'm like, okay, what is Krang going to be like this time? Is it going to be a robot or is it going to be the same drunken brain that I remember from the 80s? I think what is going to happen? Armed robot thing, yeah. Mm, okay. As far as, as far as I've seen from the uh, fan art, it's just like a four-armed robot thing. Okay, okay. I'll just have to wait till it comes out. <laughs> Still, that's just, that's just curious. I'm like, okay, what is and I, what are they going to do with that? And is Shredder going to come back? Shredder. Yeah, I think that's for once. Too. For once, in this was impressive about that movie. For once, Shredder got the badass treatment that he had been deserving for a long time. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Fem Scripted, where we talk yes. about uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Demon>. ninja <laughs> <laughs> we talk about Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh man, it's a. <laughs> but um, I, I guess do you have any um? Shoot. Anyone have closing thoughts or about season six? What you sort of hope, expectations? Um, I have a question about. Does anybody know how long, uh, how long, how many episodes of season six we're getting? Probably twenty six. I can't. Fair enough. I can't remember for sure if it was confirmed to have twenty six or not. I, it's one thing I forgot the. Because I know season five is confirmed, like I'm pretty sure it's 26 as well. But, I hope it's not 13. Yeah, because oh, that'd, be really, that'd be really sad. Yeah. I hope that we get some suck. kind of Deadpool reference. Deadpool? Oh my gosh. Awesome movie. They're gonna have him on like a poster somewhere, like Scootaloo's room, if we ever see it again. <laughs> or they could yeah. have Pinkie Pie, or they could they could make do another Nightmare Nights episode, and Pinkie Pie could come out it's with it. Step is yeah. Maybe Deadpool yes. is Scootaloo's mom and dad. Oh, <laughs> mom and dad. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. That'd be just ins- that'd be just way too much to handle. <laughs> that would be a lot. That'd be a lot to handle. That would be. I wonder. I wonder. If, I wonder if they're going to do the same holiday episodes for uh, Nightmare Night and Heartwarming Eve. I hmm. feel we'll at least have a one. This. I think they might do it again, but probably won't be till season seven. At least as my I, guess. I yeah. wonder if they're going to do some sort of like an Easter reference. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I guarantee because I think every season had some sort of holiday they referenced or parodied. Um. So I'm pretty sure we'll get some, but I don't think it'll be like the same. Um, just because like they wanted to, I think, establish some sort of gap yeah. between them. Yeah, like I don't think they've done, uh, I don't know, Independence Day or so. <laughs> oh, here's an here's an inquiry. Here's an inquiry. Did anyone see that little snippet of of the ponies in the during the Super Bowl commercials? Uh. No, was this past Super Bowl or the yeah. one before that? Yeah, what's a Super this Bowl? past Super Bowl? This past Super Bowl was just pretty much a toy. It was like a Super Bowl star was given away. It was the last Super Bowl of the year before where they actually had the all the ponies dressed out in cult gear. Yeah, that was <laughs> Super Bowl forty nine, not okay fifty. Okay, I remember seeing because I remember seeing a, a really quick quick snippet of. A really, really quick snippet of of the uh, of the ponies and that it's like you're showing all the uh, free game rituals and then all of a sudden you see that that quick little snippet there. I'm yes. wondering if they will. Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering if they'll. You're gonna I'm show gonna reference the Super Bowl. I wonder if they'll. It'll be hoofball. I it'll wonder if they'll hoofball. reference that. It'll be hoofball. Hoofball. Sure. I wonder if Blade they'll reference off. that in season six. <laughs> They've made a reference <laughs> of it in the other ones, so it's possible we'll see a game of some sort. It's, right is is likely. Oh, I I, I can see them parody. I can see them play a game of hoofball. I can see them sort of <laughs> doing it off screen though, where it's like they introduce. Okay, now time to explain the rules of hoofball, and then like we cut away. Yeah. <laughs> so, like football was like <laughs> making an episode about Spike. Oh <laughs> yeah, that I could definitely Princess could see that as a Spike, Spike episode. Yeah. And then he finds himself on the field, and then before you know it, he's getting kicked around like it's, a like a bull. He, he it's Equestria Games Part Two. Ball. Yes, he is the replacement ball. <laughs> exactly, and he could be like, "I'm doing this for rarity." <laughs> oh jeez, like a dedication <laughs> for the game. 
Is that what you're saying? I guess. I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, man. I just had this vision of, like, I just had this vision of the rarity in a cheerleading outfit, and she's, like, cheering for Spike or whatever, and he, and he, and then he's all of a sudden, he forgets he's getting kicked around. <laughs> I mean, they've done weirder stuff. They've had the ponies be jousters when they're the ponies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I wonder we've if that we've seen weirder that. sports. That's we've true. seen weirder sports. Ice, out, or ice archery? Ice archery. That's, ice archery. <laughs> hmm. Well. Oh, well we're just going to have to wait until season six comes around. Yay. In May. Hopefully it's early May. That's not too far away. No problem. Time for summer. For all the kids who don't go to summer. Yeah, that's actually a sort of concern for me, though, is just like they're doing it over the summer, at least part way of the summer. Which Mm -hmm. is usually odd because usually cartoons and just shows in general try to avoid the summer like the plague. Yeah. Like releasing during the summer? Yeah, because like. More people are on vacation and whatnot, so ratings are oh. usually lower. Oh, okay. Yeah, we at camp during the summer. Camp. Camp. But that's the beauty of the internet. Yeah. I'd be thinking of avoiding the summer because you'd have way too many thirsty fans who are like, we need cartoons! <laughs> hmm. It's easier to get people when they're in the daily grind, though. True, and then they're mm-hmm. and then they look for something to kind of take the edge off. Yeah, specifically. Yeah. Like some, like some of those adults who still like to watch cartoons. Everyone yeah. point at the camera with a thumbs up. Ready, three, two, one, go. E- oh. E- 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 Okay, it was perfect. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I I I led people astray when you said something about uh the brain talking like he's drunk. I'm not drunk, everybody. Right. Okay. It's we just, know. <laughs> Alex doesn't. I'm sorry. Just, I know. It's just a pain I know. Up. We just. I know. It just it just sounded the way it just the way he talked and how he slurred. It no, just, I'm talking about me. I, I, slurred, I don't know what that's like. Because <laughs> I said I don't know what that's like. Because he said that the slurring and I'm like, oh, uh, I injured my tongue. So oh, oh, oh yeah. sorry. sorry. No, because uh, I, I was like, wait, it probably sounded like I was saying I was drunk. I'm not drunk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But if, yeah, yeah, more, uh, but if you don't have any more, but if you don't have any more closing thoughts, um, you want to just call uh, end of this? Sure. sure. All right. Nope. Yeah. Oh. I think we're all done here. All right. See you all for season, well, six. Yay! Yay! Goodbye. 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 Bye. Bye.